All right. So uh, today I want to be uh, going to be showing you all a video on some of the applications that you can get for a PSP uh, running custom firmware. Right now I'm running uh, 3.71 N33-4. Uh, it's on a PSP Slim. If you can see. Not that that's important, but anyways. Now I'll get right into it. The first thing I want to show you whenever I cut my PSP on is this. It's uh, it says enter passwords by Torch. It's a lockdown plugin. It's called uh, Lockdown.PRX. It's like password protection for your PSP, so that prowling guys can't get into it. Now just hold on a moment while I put my password in. I can just show you all some extra things. All right, now I put my password. In. It's a ten-character password. You can see my custom XMBs. All this crap that's useless. Oh, well, except for the internet browser. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go to my memory stick. I have a uh, C Torrent PSP, which is that first application there. I have the uh, Alobi, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, parental password cracker. I'll show you all this one first. But for, to prove that that one works, what it does is it cracks the parental code that you can put on your PSP. Let's say your parents don't want you playing any M-rated games, they put the password on it and you can't play them. Well, well uh, the password cracker it tells you what the password is. Alright, now let me see what my password is set to. Put the password in. I have a 2-4. 2 4 two, two. Now that I put that in, this is show the technical password. It's okay. Alright, now I can change it. And it says 4225 there on the side. So that's because that's my uh, current password. Anyways, close out of that. Go back. Go down here. Just gonna open up the password cracker. Second like on. No good. Got my favorite game boot on. Wait for this to load. Alright, this is a I love the parental password cracker. Press start to crack password. Just press start. Okay. And it says the it says the password, you can't see it unfortunately. It says PSP password cracker. It says four two two five. Right in here in the middle bar right there it says four two two five. Press start to save password to the root of your memory stick. You can press start and save it so that it'll remember it. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Yeah, put my password in there. That's another cool thing about the lockdown.prx. If you close out of a game and you're going back to XMB, it opens that back up. Put it in again. And if anyone can tell me what those first two buttons that I hit on the password were, you get a cookie. Anyways, let's find another thing. Uh, got John Truer's game. Oh yeah, this is interesting. That yeah, SNES X, uh, SNES 9X. It's a Super Nintendo Entertainment System emulator. I probably won't show you much about this, except for anybody who doesn't know what that is. Uh, it's just uh. A program that'll run Super Nintendo games on your PSP. Right there, it's scrolled over Super Mario World, and the one above it is Super Mario All Stars. So I'm gonna run Super Mario World just to show you all. Let's try to play this with one hand. Turn the volume up. There we go. It's kind of laggy, but it's decent for running on Sony. Near Bowser's Castle. Let's start this level up for fun. Let's prove it works. Jump. You know, do all the other stuff. Close out of that. Put my password in again. <laughs> Gets a little annoying, but... Uh, that's actually a fake... Uh, 5.0033 installer. You run that program and it shows that your PSP has a brick. If anybody wants that, look up another video or I might put the download in the, uh, the link description. And, and this is the Daedalus um, N64. Not bad uh, video quality, by the way. I'm 
using my sister's camera because I can't find mine because she broke it. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I got a Super Mario 64, uh, Mario Kart 64, and Super Smash Bros. I'm going to Super Mario 64 because it looks awesome on here. Loading up. Starting. Apparently, I have my audio turned off on it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, just do all the normal stuff. It's like the same thing, just a little different. It's very entertaining on long trips, a long ride in a car. It's very useful to have something like that. Close out of this. Another fun thing. I don't have very many on here right now because I don't feel like going and downloading a whole lot. PSP Tube 1.8. Pretty decent. So the song at the beginning. It's fun. UMD Dumper. Uh, that's good to use whenever you, you don't feel like paying for your games. Just put them straight on your memory stick. Got IR Show, which everyone knows about. Now this one's really good. Um, this is a hide file, and then it's called hide file. I'll go ahead and run it and show you all. Gotta love the loading times on the PSP. <sighs> Anyways, hide folders, hide file, hide folders, whatever. That, as you can see here, that hides your uh, music video, or music pic photos video. You just hit X over it, and it says, um, hide and show and return which return just doesn't really do anything whenever you hit hide whenever you go back to your PSP XMB any uh, audio, uh, uh, music audio files whatever they have in the music folder you won't be able to view them now uh, I'm sure everybody can guess uh, how useful that would be uh, pertaining to this middle icon for photos I'll leave that one up to y'all's imaginations but uh, anyways Go ahead and close out of this. If I can. Oh yeah. Let's hit exit. Put my password in. Very useful, sometimes annoying. Especially if you're making a video. But it's better than letting my friend get into it and mess up all my game saves. Like he's done before many times before. Let's see if there's anything else interesting that I can show you all today. I'm not sure that there's really anything else I can show you all right now. Well, I'll go ahead and show you all uh, PSP Tube 1.0. It's so really good. Anybody that doesn't know what it is or can't guess what it is because you're just an idiot, it's uh, YouTube for the PSP. A little screen loads up right here. Just connect to my home network. Connect to the internet. And uh, I have a bunch of Happy Tree Friends videos saved on here. So uh, go on YouTube, look up Happy Tree Friends, you'll find a lot of funny stuff. Oh, and I got the Slipknot uh, Before I Forget music video. Try to load that real fast. Takes a while sometimes. Pause it, play it, go to the video, move the bar, then I'm going to use that select, increase the screen size, or decrease it to make it look a little better. Get out, get out, get Alright, whenever you want to search something, just hit uh, select, and it'll take you to a different site. This one says playlist, no video. This one's uh, skip this, don't know why that's there. This is for YouTube. I've hit select three four times and now it's on YouTube. Just hit circle, type in whatever you want, and it'll usually load up a few results. Now there's a whole bunch more sites if you just keep hitting select it'll skip a whole bunch of them. And anyways. That's about all I'm gonna show you all right now if anybody has any requests for things that I can put on my PSP and then make uh, a video review or describe how it works. Uh, just leave a comment with it if you want. Uh, Anyways, uh, I'll try to post more videos of any requests, and I'll see you all later.